then vessel washing and you think dishwashing is something bad like in Karnataka I hear all girls are telling my grandmother my mother and all keeps telling what's the use of your studying degree and post graduation and after all at the end of the all those things you go back to dishwashing in the kitchen only. <laughs> In the Gurukul, the dishwashing, if you are conscious, the dish represents your heart, your eyes, your nose. Everything has to be washed every minute, not every day, not after every meal. Of course, when you go outside, it's better to leave it up there. Don't carry those dirty things back. Hence, then India has brought the thing called meditation. Meditation is a dishwashing uh, material, powder, it cleanses the whole mind and your heart so that you have your own beautiful talent which can absorb the best and no, no keeping it. You cannot find it in any bank in your, in your body. Where is the bank? Now they got to keep it in the cloud and all. <laughs> but where is our cloud? Such is the beauty of our power. That dishwashing, if you learn it, you are conscious because you think, who is watching me washing the plates? Especially you boys eat the food, you are taught not to wash the plates. That is the duty of the girls. Maybe the ancestors found out a method to disconnect the boys from the kitchen so that they will not know how the food is made so that their fights can be avoided. Maybe I think so. But when I was small, I was eating the food, I went to the yoga ashram, so I, I started taking my plate to wash. Immediately my cousin sister, she came running and said, no, 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 don't wash the plates. If you wash the plates, you will become thin, it seems. But I was thinking, when girls wash the plates, don't they become thin? <laughs> so they never allowed me to wash the plate. They take it and they wash it. But in the ashram, because that is, that is materialistic world, but in the spiritual world, you must understand that vessel washing is so beautiful. Every wash vessel, when you wash, you get an idea. I have to I do my eyeball exercise. Whenever I watch my mobile or TV, I go and sprinkle water into my eyes. I have to cool down my eyes. I have to take care. Instant answer is that. I have to make sure I listen properly and may leave it to my ear, leave it to my mind that the mind picks up the best and it keeps it in which cloud, I do not know. Whenever a question comes, when you feel the question is a gun, then the answer will go according to that borrowed knowledge, according to his question. <laughs> Otherwise, you can answer and people will appreciate, yes. And when you do the dishwashing, you can see the nose is clean. To not only really clean, you have to go back to pranayama to practice. Your nostril blow out, your stomach pump. And then controlling the breath, anuloma, viloma, all these are instant answers. When these things are blocked, you don't get instant answers. You go to any university, yes. You pay any amount of money to go to anywhere. But at the end of the day, Cambridge people are also divorcing almost every one second. <laughs> Whatever big universities in the world, slaves, they don't have a family, joint family and family tree. <laughs> They're living in fear, rushing up to the church to find a solution, rushing up to psychologists, as small as cold, they rush up to the doctors. They are the intelligent people, you think, no.